Hello, everyone. Hello, hello. It is Bonjour. Saturday night, <laughs> and that means it is time for the weekly dig. Welcome, everyone, to the stream. Glad to have you all here. Uh, for those new to the stream, this is uh, Anime Archaeology. We talked about anime old and new. And these are my fabulous co-hosts, John. On Panama, me now. And Steve. Hello. <laughs> I'm Brent. And we are here today to speak about Interstellar 555, the story of the secret star system. Probably Interstellar four fives, knowing the provenance of this. Um, let's start by asking this. Man, seeing a lot of, uh, of uh, old new faces in the chat. It's awesome. Um, let's ask this. Uh, where did you all first come across Interstellar 5555? What was your first experience with it, Steve? Well, <clears throat> it was late at night, and it was either Adult Swim or... Um, Toonami, I forget which one it was. But they had this handful of AMVs that they kept pumping out. And um, one of them was was the segment, the Harder, Faster, Stronger segment yep. from from the from the movie. And I had not realized that, that it was actually part of a movie. And I was just like, oh, wow, they really did a really good job with this AMV. It just seemed to flow <laughs> right all the way through. Really and then, you know, then, you know, of course, you know, upon research, once I stopped drinking, I found out that, you know, it was actually a movie and, and, and checked into it. Had the album already and uh, checked that, checked the movie out. And I was just like, oh, this is so much fun. Mm -hmm. And it kind of looks like, you know, like as you're saying, Brent, I was thinking to myself, kind of looks like Yamato. Don't huh. know why. Yeah. Weird, Don't know why. Weird that. Yeah. It has a lazy Matsumoto, Matsumoto yeah, feeling like to yeah, it. Yeah, it's got a heavy vibe. Kind of yeah, slightly. Right. Just, you know, <laughs> the lazy verse sort of ish. John? Um, I honestly saw uh, about the same thing Steve did, but I I can't remember what it was. it was. I was literally surfing YouTube, mm. and Daft Punk was doing – they had talked about something recently, so I just kind of was looking some stuff up, and I saw that a piece of that same video. Mm -hmm. I was like, I, no, this <laughs> somebody this somebody put something together here. I'm, I'm, I'm not finding the, the actual video for what's going on. I'll, I'll just come back to this later. So I saw a few minutes of it. I was just like, oh, that's kind of cool. Yeah. That's it. I had no idea there was a greater <laughs> thing attached to any of this stuff. So um, here's the context of, of how this all went down. Um, so basically, Daft Punk did their, their, their album, Fine, in Discovery. Yeah, obviously, did rather well. Um, he did. And then apparently they reached out um, to somebody in the anime industry um, <clears> and said, we would love to... To finance basically um, an, a, a music video for just the first track, apparently, of Discovery one more time. And they kind of um, uh, contacted folks around and they said, uh, and I don't know all the details, but basically it, it, it turned out that Lady Matsumoto was interested. And apparently Daft Punk was like, holy smokes, like we grew up watching, you know. Yamato and, and you know Harlock and all those kinds of things that, that was very formative for us that would be awesome um, and so sure enough Leiji Matsumoto uh, co-creator of Star Blazers creator of Captain Harlock Galaxy Spec 3 Nines all that kind of stuff he was interested in, in, in kind of helming this now um, from what we can tell you know, he was more like a chief director of this and they were like directors for the sort of boots on the ground kind of work on this so right. I don't think he was like in the studio every day for months, right, working on this, but he was definitely kind of the the overall architect of it, which is pretty cool. Um, um, and so the thing is, he basically did a um, um, so he did it one more time, and that came out. It was like that's cool, and then I don't know a month or two later, like, like two months later, they dropped Aerodynamic. Um, a full animated music video. And it was like, oh, this is cool. This is nice. And they did the third one. And then the fourth one. And then I remember this distinctly. Um, a um, Leiji Matsumoto, like, put out, like, a tweet or something where he said, oh, by the way, I'm going to Cannes with an hour-long music video that I recently made. Everyone's like, oh, really? <laughs> I wonder what that could be. Um, and so he, this actually premiered at Cannes, the full, the full video. 
um, and, uh, and and showed off there, and then this became you know the the, the whole thing. And so they, they made Interstellar as this hour long music video set to Daft Punk um, anime music video, which is really really fun. Um, it's a really cool little thing, and it's interesting because I mean it's it is very sci fi. Um, yes, it, it is very <clears throat> kind of. I was gonna say over the top. I don't know if that's the best word for it, but it's it doesn't take itself seriously. I guess would be the the, the phrase for it. Um, but it also like does tell a story. Like there is stuff going on. Um, one of the fun things about it, like for me, was watching one more time. Like when we thought this was just a music video, and it just ends with this, you know, this ship coming in, and an alarm coming. You know, uh, alarm gets hit, and we stop there, and then we pick up the next music video, with the next part of the story. Like that's yeah. really cool. Um. Because it does tell us this big story of these blue magicians being kidnapped by special forces, apparently, um, and and then taken onto the spaceship, um, where they are. Um, uh, let's just say things happen. I'm trying to remember <laughs> what we see. Um, no, no, because we we see. I, I, I forgot. Um, they get kidnapped, and then we, we jump to the guy in the guitar-shaped sp- spacecraft. Yeah. Yep. Which is pretty Cleaning awesome. the spacecraft the in spacecraft. deep space. <laughs> With like a buffing it. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Literally buffing it. Yeah. <laughs> I'm the space janitor. Um, it's and, a 69 uh, Camaro in, like, yeah, spaceship form. Much, yeah. <laughs> Basically. Very much so. Like, um, oh, my little bandit, she looks beautiful. <laughs> ah, she does. Um, come to find out, he's, a, he's rather a fan of the band, um, considering he has a, a bit of a moment with the poster. Yeah, uh, he, and he's also a slob. Yeah, <laughs> not much. Um, uh, and then finds out, of course, that they've been kidnapped. Um, um, and then, then we get you know, kind of the, the big reveal where he goes after the ship and it lands on Earth. Like the, the ship he's he's searching for transforms into like a Boeing seven forty seven, and lands on what is clearly Earth. <laughs> it's like what? Yeah. yeah, that moment of transformation. I'm like, huh? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, Odd choice. Yeah. <laughs> Whatever. Um, and then you see set to the you know, immortal, harder, better, faster, stronger. Um. All of these characters getting transformed um, and turned into, and their memories <clears throat> being changed into like human memories, um, as they are all changed into new people and given kind of new identities. Yeah. Um, very, very odd. I've also pointed out the eagle-eyed among you will notice that the uh, the drummer gets a Tokyo's outfit momentarily as one of the options. Um, so there's there's some. Little notices in there. Um, let me ask you all this. You know, why, oh, and, and I should also mention um, um, part of the whole like Rube Goldberg thing that is um, getting them and sending them down um, is um, the Thunderbirds. You know, shoot yep. to send the, oh, the, them down. The, yeah. The, the, yeah, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 Um, so yeah, just having fun. Um, so let me ask you all this. When you're watching this and you get to this point and you see the four alien band members getting you know, transformed into something, what did you think was happening? <laughs> Where was your head, head space at this point in, the, in the, the story? Well, you know, you, you don't find out until as the story progresses why, why it's happening. Yeah. And, and, you know, and when you saw the video, when you saw that video, Harder, first, uh, Faster, mm-hmm. Stronger, it didn't come out with the other ones first mm. so on the on the tsunami so when you just see it as this one thing you're just like yeah. going okay um they're unconscious so i'm going to assume that they're not doing this willingly mm-hmm. and there's some memory thing going on but they're going down all these shoots and i think i want to be unconscious as i'm going down those shoots because <laughs> they just look really really not not that stable mm-hmm. But yeah, you don't get a clear, like, you know, at this point, you're just like, okay, they're being turned into 
earth people mm -hmm. and then you go and then as they're like doing the skin pigmentation yeah right yeah you know the, the thing turning around and, and i'm just like going god that just looks like a gun and, it's just like, <laughs> and and then they get the one guy and you're just like going oh, okay i guess we do mm -hmm. i guess i guess we do have to to um you know put this mm -hmm. put this diversity in there but what I thought was interesting was that in that concept of it, of just saying, okay, well, we're going to put stuff because human beings look a lot different mm -hmm. as opposed to this blue world, mm -hmm. literally everyone's blue. Um, you know, they make it a point to make them different. And I'm just kind of like going, so if I was the evil whatever and bringing this in, how does it occur to you to do that? Yeah. You know what I mean? How mm -hmm. does it occur to you to go, okay, well, we're going to do, we're, we're going to try and make, integrate this guy in mm -hmm. by making him African American. Yeah. So how, how would, you know, I always kind of wonder, you know, like what, what was the thought behind that? Mm -hmm. Cause that's not something you would think about as, as you're watching this, mm -hmm. but yeah, you get to this point and you're just like going, okay, we, we saw a band, <clears throat> these blues guys playing mm -hmm. and they're kind of like swinging like seventies and Very. then you know right and then you know you get into the, to this whole thing and you're just and you're just like okay you're, you're kidnapped what, what is going why what is going on and then and then of course you were but you're thoroughly lost and you're just like well thank god the song is good <laughs> yeah okay i what the ship shows up and i'm like okay this is interesting the band is like popular worldwide with old people young people on the mm -hmm. on the little blue planet yeah. mm -hmm. um and okay no is this somebody's gonna conquer the planet so he's mm -hmm. stolen the people who are like the planet unifying band mm -hmm. <laughs> like, yeah. okay, okay then the spaceship transforms into a 747 i'm like i i'm I, i'm not sure what's happening here <laughs> And then it just kept going, and I'm like, yeah. "Why did he come? This looks like Earth. Why mm -hmm. did he come here again? What is he doing? <laughs> like, <laughs> he's trying to blend them into the populace, but but where's the? You know, it doesn't he have a galactic fleet or something? He's gonna conquer the blue <laughs> planet. Right? Why did he mm -hmm. drag them here and makes them into the crescent balls and? Yeah. That's just his thing. I'm like, mm -hmm. I don't know. so. So when I first saw this, and and I still have this thought in my head, and this is gonna not only age me, but I, I'm curious to see if anybody out there in Chatland even knows this. Mm -hmm. But every time I see this movie or I see a clip of this, you know, like the Harder, Faster, Stronger, and they show the version at the beginning when they're the blue band, mm -hmm. you know, playing and very very late 70s kind of motif kind of oh, thing yeah. going on and instantly i get the bay city rollers in my head hmm. okay really s-a-t-u-r-d-a-y s-a so anyway if you were a sid marty croft fan you know exactly what that was okay wow yeah. wow I, I was lucky enough to, to miss, miss that this <laughs> um uh, yeah, I got to see some of them. Crazy. <laughs> yeah, I got to see some of those. And boy, yeah, altered I, consciousness probably was the way to watch yeah, those. I, but you know. I came back to those a little, a little while, you know, a year or two ago. And I was like, I should be aware of what this is. Oh my god, you know. <laughs> yeah, HR pun this, stuff. Anybody? <laughs> oh yeah. It's played on television. All right. This HR yeah. stuff and stuff. Oh, yeah, it was the time. Yep, absolutely. Um, so yes, yeah, so, so you have that, um, and then uh, you see them doing their their recordings, doing all that stuff, and of course you quickly realize they're basically drugged. Um, they're being forced to do this basically, um, while clearly evil producer. Yes. Is running fantastic out. hair. Oh yes, yeah. <laughs> fantastic evil hair. It's just like. You know, when the doctor, if this kid, when he was born, the doctor probably pulled, you know, was holding him and, and he probably had the little, when he was an infant, he's, and the doctor probably was like, oh, we have evil. We just, <laughs> we got evil, evil child. Okay. All right. Side note. I've been playing the, the beta test for Tower of Fantasy. You're playing through the game and you come across this character who is this big, tall, this big, very <clears throat> wide, round um, guy who runs a, um, a, mining operation he is like the head of the corporation business suit 
um, Monaco strokes a cat. <laughs> um, <clears throat> um, and he spends the entire time talking like this in the most unctuous voice, tone of voice, you can possibly imagine. And it's just <laughs> every possible cliche. And so far, he is absolutely the nicest guy in the game. <laughs> you know, it's just, he's, he's absolutely, no, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll take care of the miners and we'll do all this stuff. And it's like, wait, wait, what? Like, good on you for completely, you know, upending the trope because you have totally laid the groundwork. Ernst Blofeld mixed with Kingpin, and you're a nice guy. Exactly, yes. Wow. <laughs> um, uh, but yes, so you have all of all of that going on. Um, um, and then we, we finally cut back to our, our lone uh, hero, um, who is... Uh, Which I really, I love the way that you can drug and mind control mm. a creative process that yeah. is a band. <laughs> right. And they're still just as good, mm -hmm. even though they're okay. like zombies. Okay, like, so oh. let's talk about this, right? Let's talk about the <laughs> obvious metaphor here, right? <laughs> you take the indie band, you sign them to a record contract, you know, they're, they're churning out the same stuff and they're hugely popular, but they're just, you know... Working for the man. Losing their creative spirit. Mm -hmm. Yes. That's very much what's going on. Um, yeah, I, I, that was a very clear message <laughs> on that line. Yeah. <laughs> well, and then you get to their big concert. Um, and and I, I love the... A friend of mine actually pointed this out, which I hadn't really recognized, is that you know, you know, not only have they made a big... Like, they have you know, the violin section, you know, yep. the whole symphony orchestra. orchestra backup, you know. <laughs> um... Uh, just to prove how 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 they arrived. Um, now appearing at the San Bernardino Symphony yeah, Orchestra, yeah, 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 the Dolls. Yeah, yeah, oh, exactly. amazing! <laughs> Everybody loves them. Um, and then our friend leaps out of the Goodyear blimp. <sighs> yeah. <laughs> um, and again, it's it, it's how I love how this again not taking itself too seriously. Right. right. Dramatic entrance. Okay, let's do a dramatic entrance. Um, and and down he comes, and um, uh, uh, interrupts the concert, and breaks the mind control. Um, of course, with a laser pointer. Laser pointer. Very <laughs> handy. Wait. <laughs> sure you have those laser pointers handy. Um, um, and tries to run away with them. But of course, things aren't that easy. Um, um, and so he manages to get away with all but the girl. Which of course is the one person he wanted. Um, story goes on. Um, cameo by Daft Punk, by the way, which... Yeah, right. I loved it. I loved that. <laughs> loved it. <laughs> Happy. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> um, and uh, um, the characters then proceed to sneak into the to the the, the thing, find out what's going on, um, and <clears throat> basically rescue the girl. Um, but of course, that only happens what at the cost of his life. Sacrifices had to be made. Yeah. Um, to a and I was, I was like, I was like, why do these guys always get the short end of the stick? Mm -hmm. You know, it's just like, I love you guys. I'll do whatever I can to risk life and limb. And you know, here we go. I'm gonna rescue you guys. Oh, gut shot. Mm -hmm. Oh, oh, and and you know, and, and you know, when he dies, you know. And by the way, that the song they play when when they when they take her finally to him. And um, you know he holds out his hand. And they, they do. He kind of brings her fully back. Mm -hmm. You know, and um, you know through memories and things. And uh, he, you know, he 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 passes. And um, and it's just like it's like okay, that's sad. It's, it's one my favorite song is, is playing on, on at that point. And then you know as they're driving away in the van, you know they're kind of grim, a little bit grim, and then. You know, it just kind of comes back to, <laughs> to his body just shoved in the back in the boot, <laughs> and, and like and like you know, 
all they had to do was really just show like a humanoid form underneath the blanket and that was fine but no they had to like just have it all up to here <laughs> so you yeah. could see his hair so you know it's him mm -hmm. and it's just like going god that's grim yeah that is yeah. so grim and your first thought is like why are you taking the body right why <laughs> there's a reason turns mm -hmm. out there is a reason mm -hmm. but still it's it's just kind of like going oh my god <laughs> but these these if this poor guys like him always get the short end of the stick they're mm -hmm. all they want to do is just like you know be a right fanboy, yeah. watch the thing, and have the girl acknowledge him. And mm -hmm. you know, life isn't wonderful. No, he has to get shot. He has to, you know, mm -hmm. die. And, and it's just. Uh. <laughs> but that's how the fanboy gets noticed by the girl he loves. Right. Yeah, well, yeah, yeah, death. Man. Great. Oh. <laughs> hey, nobody said it was easy. Get but, the but, attention but, of a but, star. But I will right? say, <laughs> I, but I will <laughs> say, he had the best um, uniform. Oh. In, in, in the, <laughs> well, yeah, actually, he did have the best hair. Um, uniform in the whole thing and it reminded me of um shoot what was the anime where, where they're all birds um different or their costumes are different birds uh oh, galaxy gotcha heroes yeah gotcha man gotcha yeah, yeah. oh yeah definitely yeah mm -hmm. and i was and i'm like going god and the dude flew like flew a guitar through space come on man. yep yep boy that should be painted on the side of a van sometime <laughs> i know <laughs> Um, yeah, so, and to your point, you know, they, they drive off to bury him. Yep. <laughs> Which apparently they've traveled across, like, uh, Holland and, like, the <laughs> Alps and, like, somewhere else. And this massive journey across mm -hmm. the world to find this tree to bury him under it. Right. Because right. there are flowers nearby. Yeah, get it. And, and apparently a homing spot. beacon. Apparently. <laughs> <laughs> they found um, it new. somehow. <laughs> That or it was okay. We've almost completed this like you know seventy-two day journey, and he's getting a little ripe. How about that trip? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> possible. It's time. Just say yeah. it, everyone. It's time. He's um, marinated enough. I think right. we could put him in the ground. <laughs> oh, cool. Uh, but it, it's okay because he shows back up as Anakin Skywalker. Um, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> glowy Jedi thing. Um, um, and so of course now they know what they need to do. They need to go to Darkwood Manor. Bum, dun, bum, dun. Bum. Which, if that isn't a D and D location, I don't know it is. Um, <laughs> no joke. Um, to find out what's going on, and I just love this because again, at this point, I'm like, okay, where do they go from here? Right. Right. Like we had an interstellar story. We have the bad guys. Um, we know all this has, has happened. We go into you know what what is frankly a location from GI Joe. Um, it's where it's where the components of the weather station are. Yes, exactly. The weather dominator. The weather dominator. <laughs> yeah. Um, and they go in and they find out that the guy is apparently um, unhinged. Yes, quite. A He's a collector of He's, sorts. Yes. <laughs> oh um, God. Some kind of evil immortal guy who's been doing this for forever to include Mozart. Yep. I mean, he takes so he takes all these aliens instead of like human beings, mm -hmm. and and he and you know you see the stamp press thing go mm -hmm. and turning them into human beings and you know <laughs> people that you Bob know, Dylan, yeah, you're right, you're right, you know. <laughs> and so when they're doing the Mozart thing, and you're, and you're getting the story, you're just like going, okay, well, I thought this guy was just like in it for the money, <laughs> oh, and no. Then, right? No, 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 there's the more grand or grandiose thing, and he's mad because his father was killed or something like that, mm -hmm. and. So he's taking his revenge out on everybody. And I just love how he has Mozart and, you know, they showed the little kid, you know, with the drugged out eyes and, yeah. you know, just yeah. playing the piano, yeah. whatever. And then it cuts away with him tossing the kid into a pit. Yeah. <laughs> yep. <laughs> you have served your useful, you are now exactly. useless. Yep. Off to, to perdition you go. Mm -hmm. it's, it's like, oh my God, you killed a five-year-old. <laughs> Hey, yeah. nobody said he was up for father of the year, Steve. Exactly. <laughs> Jeez. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's, Walter it's something... White was a better dad. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Um, yeah, and so it turns out all of our music geniuses are actually aliens. Uh, humans apparently... So we are totally inept. Are. Yes. Inept of, of making our own music. Well, you know, actually I could say yeah. um, from per personal experience that is kind of true. But... And it turns out he's doing this because he needs platinum records. Yeah. <laughs> like his whole... 
thing is like powered by the power of platinum records. This is not like he couldn't buy the platinum. No, just, just done yeah. the thing. But I guess, I guess it's like no, you have to have the spirit of the music in there to to yeah. to channel your infernal machine to take over the world. Yeah, with your awesome villain hair. Exactly. Yes. <laughs> Um, yeah, it's 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 wonderfully ludicrous um, in that very music video way, um, and, and I, I, again, I do have to kind of appreciate this this idea of of kind of smirking and kind of devaluating or devaluing the whole idea of awards and platinums and all that kind of stuff. Of saying it's just feeding the ego. That's just all it's doing. Yeah. It's not yeah. It doesn't mean that much. Um. Um. But yes, we get our um, um, our ending, and of course, the girl is central to everything. Um, it's mm-hmm. surprising she's not a Japanese high school girl, because those are typically the the key to all the yeah. courses. Yeah. Uh, in this case, it's just an alien. key. The metal idol exactly. unlocks everything. Right. It's very true. <clears throat> um, um, but yes, um, big climatic ending. Rescue girl. Um, uh, awesome. Defeat cyborgs. Defeat cyborgs. It's awesome. It's, it's wonderful. Um, uh, and and uh, so off they go back into the uh, the thing. I do appreciate that they're all watching football uh, on, on the monitors because that, that is a thing. Like that is legitimately in Europe. Like they would all be just glued right. to the football game um, between France and Japan. France and Japan, exactly. Um, but they're able to find a way to um, uh, deal with this stuff, um, reveal what's going on, um, and then again. Wonderful thing. Um, apparently, humanity unites to get them home. Yep, that would be really nice. <laughs> and yeah, there's like, not any like secret like experimental things going on. <laughs> They're not like right. pulling them apart, looking at mm-hmm. them. And technology. Well, nope, they just are like, hey, yeah, let's make you blue again and put everything back together. <laughs> well, I love how the record executive <laughs> is just like going, "Oh, I didn't know this was going on the whole time." <laughs> You're a regular. Oh, come on, you know, come right. on now. And and you know, and and then he's just like he spearheads like the the scientific effort to to mm-hmm. you know re rehab the ship and send them off the, into space because human beings are nice and good like that. Yeah. Really. Mm-hmm. Okay. Because you know, I could have just seen us just like taking the guitar rocket ship and like you know, yeah, taking it apart. Or <laughs> it apart like, it's, it, all, it's all art. Put, yeah. put it back together and go. You know, we had an album cover called Boston, and we kind of had yeah. this idea, but we <laughs> exactly. just didn't know how to put it together till now. So you know, hey, there we Thank go. You. <clears throat> but, Whenever uh, you have an alien ship crash land on a small island, in, uh, oh, I'm sorry, that's Max. Right. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> yes, the SDFF one. This is not. No, it, but. Uh, but yeah, you know, and, and do you think the spirit of the guy who died saving them was mortified by the fact that they all just went into his bedroom <laughs> and hung out and, and hung out and, and just know. can you just imagine like some like one of them just reaching under the bed and going, oh, 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 okay, we'll just yeah. put that right back. No one will know. <laughs> the poster on the ceiling isn't nearly half as revealing as the one under the bed. <laughs> <Exactly>. <laughs> it's fan art. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Yeah, um, and off they go to the. It should be pointed out, you know, the dark the, side the of the port- moon. Yes, the portal on the dark side of the moon. I mean, obvious. Um, uh, off they go um, through the portal, um, and of course, what happens? They make it back, um, and they actually do like make it back to the, to their world. They're able to to to. Play the music again. Um, not only do they put on a massive happy concert, and not only does it broadcast back to Earth somehow. Earth. Yeah. Fine, where everyone's dressed out in like in in mod seventies clothes. I guess the seventies yeah. are back. The seventies yeah. are back. Yay! I don't know. No. Um, <laughs> and now our worlds are united through through blue music. Exactly. Hey. <laughs> through uh, through. <laughs> Sorry. Just, uh, yeah. um, Through the blues? What? No, no, just saw uh, John's comment in the chat. Um, um, uh, and yet, so again, you know, uh, the world is united through through music. Um, but was it all a dream? 
What was it all a dream? Yes. Was it all a small child's dream? Probably. God. Oh, yeah. It, I always forget about that because I always want to blank it out because I hate snow globe endings. Like <laughs> you know, they put the, the stuff away. It's mm-hmm. all the, you know, a dream in the kid's head. And I'm like going, kid, you dreamed about a grown man tossing a five-year-old into a fire pit. It's all very psychological. It, it's all dealing with the, the underlying crises. Of Which one, or are both of them beating you? <laughs> what is going on here? His pet oh. turtle just died, Steve. It's yeah. traumatic. There's things going on. <laughs> Poor Timmy has died. Um, that is yeah. actually Leiji Matsumoto as, as, yeah. as a young child. A young child. Yeah. I believe it. Dreaming of the Leiji verse. Mm-hmm. No, I, I do think in context, this is very much, you know, just everyone loves it so much that there's a, you know, a kid who becomes a fan. Yay, fandom. Um, uh, but yes, there, there is that implication as well. But yeah, it's, um, and, and that's the ending. Like, that's it. That's, that's the whole story. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's weird because it is, it is so ridiculous. It is so silly, but it is taking itself it is not taking itself seriously and it's having such fun with its concept um you just you, i i can't help but smile all the way through this yeah. well i mean it works it, it's fun yeah it, it's just fun it's just what it's supposed to be it's not you know it's you're not going to get it in, in in a a message like from the grave from the fireflies and the fireflies out of this. <laughs> you almost got me there steve <laughs> but uh you know, it's just fun and it's just a nice thing to watch and to listen to the music and, you know, and to have the interesting idea that you're not going to have any dialogue. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. All you're going to have is the music. And this is actually part of what makes me do AMVs is I love mm-hmm. matching the music and the ideas of the music to a, to, um, you know, anime and then, you know, trying to, to sync it up, you know, mm-hmm. beats and things like that. But just to have something like this where, you know, you're supposed to experience the, the, the emotion of the song and the music yeah. as it's portrayed to you visually. Mm-hmm. And in that in that way it works. Um, yeah, don't try to, to don't try to get any inner meaning out of this. You're, you're not. You're not. Just sit well, back and just sit back and not exploit it. your musicians. I mean that's yeah. the message yeah. in there. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, it was uh, that was it was quite the ride and it, it made me think back with the music being the driver for this mm. and seeing lip flaps and not knowing, you know, yeah. what, are, what exactly are they saying? Mm, right. It makes me think back when we were watching that film and I couldn't get the subtitles working. <laughs> so I just watched the whole film and it's like, you know, the visual media that is anime can convey with nothing. Like, I, you can follow the entire story, you can enjoy the music, but, the, you know, if you separate the music from the show, you don't necessarily, you don't have, you know, the music itself doesn't convey that story. It's like, it's just all visual. Yeah. And you can follow it perfectly without being like, oh, oh wait a minute, what, uh, well, I missed what they said there. Mm-hmm. It's like, no, they didn't say anything. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> right, right. Laid out exactly for you as you need to interpret it. It's yeah. like, thank you. And it feels very much like an AMV. Yeah. Um, you, know, you, you could very much imagine the... 26 episode TV series that this is cut up into to make these these videos of. Um, it's really very inspiring from an AMV perspective of saying, oh yeah, yeah. Like you, could, you, you could definitely have the same kind of effect from an AMV, which is fun. Um, but yeah, that's Interstellar 5555, the story of the secret star system. Um, a fun ride. Um, and that's what it is. <laughs> kind of the, the whole thing. One more time. One more time. And it's something that, you know, we shouldn't have. It shouldn't exist. <laughs> like, the confluence <laughs> of things that is required to make this thing exist is just ridiculous, and it's wonderful yeah. that it does. You know, that's a good point. How, where did this happen? Like, yeah. how did they, like, how, you know, obviously Daft Punk, they, they know something of anime. Right. And they knew something enough to reach out and go, hey, yeah. would someone, like, to help us with this. Mm-hmm. How did the Lyji verse go? Okay. Yeah. We'll do it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you know, who's who you know, who thinks about it? And then and then then actually does it. But here's the other part of it is is that you, you know, these are two different cultures actually. Yeah. And you know, mm-hmm. and and medium and all that. And to have that's about to actually interpret correctly yeah. the album. Mm-hmm. 
and then make a visual to the album and and just you know make make it flow like that you know those and connections that Daft punk liked the liked visual, visual that he right, did yeah yeah and a lot of things that got to come together there right exactly so like you know like how in the universe did did, did, did like the chaos gods just go let's give the humans something nice <laughs> yeah. let's let this happen you yeah. know here <laughs> pretty cool yeah all right that will do it for this um we're gonna take a quick break be back in just a few minutes with uh the latest anime news and some stuff about some upcoming anime see you then nice Ooh.